Hey. Hey, what's up? Okay. Oh, have I already started streaming this? All right. Shit. Where is the? Uh, uh is the yes. Oh, uh, yeah. We started streaming. Hello, internet. Hey, internet. Hey, let me just fix all of this stuff. My God, this is just horrendous. Like, who made this? Hello, internet. Once again, uh, we were experiencing a few of the usual technical difficulties regarding getting Procaster to work. Yeah. You know, we really would have been worth switching to Twitch, except uh, it's just Caster he was using was slowing down the PC. Might be worth giving it another go if we can find some time later on. Although yeah. we've kind of been in the development crunch, so probably that's, you know, not our main priority right now. Yeah, right now, uh, yeah, this is the point, the final stretch is kind of starting <coughs> since the new year. Hmm. Yeah. Yet. Okay, hang on, let me just readjust all of this thing. This is just so... Okay, hang on, let me just readjust all of this thing. Is Mick online yet? Steam. Hello. Hopefully, I can speak without getting cut off now. Hey, yeah, there you go. Yeah. Uh, this is this everybody. Excellent. This is Ross. Hello. This is uh, one of our script monkeys. It's it's not really an accurate description of your job title. I just like saying script monkey. Oh, oh don't worry. That's how I describe myself in my application. So. <laughs> you can't pass up an opportunity to use the phrase script monkey. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. How often do you get to call yourself to self-identify as a monkey in a semi-respectful fashion? Yeah, not often. I was gonna say like you could call someone an ape, but what what jobs exactly go well with ape? I was the hired ape for this nightclub downtown. <laughs> uh. Superheroes are sometimes called service ape for this company. <laughs> a superhero is sometimes called cape. So maybe like a cape ape or whatever. I don't know. I'll just be weird. Yeah. <laughs> Simeon man. <laughs> really ogre is the ideal uh, job title. Hello, I'm the charge the night. <laughs> Hello, I'm the uh, human resources ogre for a large corporation. <laughs> okay, so... Unrest! Wait, what's that horrible ringing yeah, noise? What's that? What the hell? Oh We're my tuning god. in to the 50 sci-fi channel. Oh my god, what Seriously, did somebody just join this call? What the fuck is that? Uh, I, I don't know. Uh, Jaffer? Are you Totoro. there? Totoro. Yeah, is it me? <laughs> yeah, was it? It wasn't uh, you. Yeah, I don't know, we're making yeah. a horrifying shrill scream. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't doing anything. Uh, okay. I don't know. That's coming from me. It sounded like a 50 sci fi like radio transmission. We're picking something up. <laughs> Please yeah, don't tell me that. Nice. Mysterious, like, terrible noise. Sorry about that. <coughs> okay, now I have reduced the window size so. Yeah, my privacy isn't violated when I try to invite somebody to Steam chat. <laughs> I got to see myself invited to a Steam chat before I was in the Steam chat. <laughs> yeah. By the way, I apologize in advance for my coughing. Hmm, I cannot seem to be joined, uh, to, 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 be able to join the chat for some reason. It's just stuck. Well, fair enough. We should probably get on with the stream anyway. Yeah. Hey y'all, so yeah, this is the, your chance to see your work in progress level. See that, that thing that appears yes, oh. in the edges? Yeah, this is a house that's in the game. You don't worry about all this non-visible stuff, this is just... Uh, so yeah, this is the first interior level which we are making. So, yeah, so once we've ironed out all of these issues, yeah, this will be a nice mansion for people. Yes. Uh, and can they like the, so this is kind of the thing where we have these streams but we don't like do the PR thing where we specially take like have a team spend a month making sure that everything on camera will work perfectly 
and, and everything that is not off camera, that could still be broken until we fix it for real. <laughs> uh, we are just showing you the game as it is working currently, and yeah. like most games in development, a lot of it looks really wonky because the wonky parts are actually the easiest to fix, and we're yeah. yes. working on the stuff that's problematic that you can't see. So Getting the fact that this level extant. is an Assyrian nightmare is actually a relatively minor issue. Yeah, it's just that's um, that seriously that's not going to be problematic to fix. Yeah, it's just uh, one of those things which uh, in which like it's a it's a case of juggling priorities. So if like your your level isn't loading at all, any level isn't loading, that's a priority thing. But if this may one small polygon is call, causing you to clip uh, through this wall, yeah, that's a low lower priority thing because okay, yeah, that can be fixed, no big deal. Yeah, that's that's no big deal. Yeah. So the idea is that this is a kind of a, a luxurious mansion thing that that has been converted to a headquarters of something. This is why which you, you see the tables here. And yeah, like some of the, some of these rooms are supposed to be uh, like a kind of library kind of thing. Then some of these are uh, bedrooms converted to dormitories. Uh, is one of you? It has a map room, although you can't see it. Yeah. Uh, is one of you using your speakers? Because I'm hearing myself as a faint echo. Uh, let me turn down my uh, speaker volume, but yeah. Or my headphone volume specifically. Um, can you hear me? I can hear yeah, you. Yeah, yeah, we can hear you. Okay, cool. Cool. So yeah, this is uh, this is near the halfway point of the game. Yeah, this mansion. So we have around fifty percent of our maps uh, kind of completed and traversable. Uh, once we have, mm -hmm. yeah. So the idea is that uh, between uh, now and uh, Fe Fe January and February will be the time where we fix all of these minor issues and just get the entire game from start to finish done. So that's what these two months are for. And uh, we, are, we are also starting starting work on sprites. So by, so the next time you see this, uh, all of these people that you see on the screen, they'll be very much, uh, they'll be different and they'll be positioned properly. That's the idea at least. Unless the development schedule throws up something we haven't anticipated, which like happens a lot. So. But yeah, the idea is that that uh, from uh, you should start seeing a lot of visual changes from from uh, today's build to the next to the next stream. That is. <coughs> yeah, most of the, the sprites you'll see in this are placeholders for later sprites. Let me just uh, change the level stuff to something else. Uh, Now, Ross, what's the the slum level uh, name? It's it's slums three, right? Do uh, you want slums or temple or? No, I mean like the the place where the slums thing is supposed to start. Slum three, slums three. Yes, it's slum slum three, I think. It, is it singular or plural? I don't know. Um, let me very quickly go check. Yeah. So what? So this is just uh, like how right now we used to change the the chapters, which is loaded. Yes, it's slum three, non plural. Okay, non. -plural. Because I'm silly. No, it's it's okay. Like it's it. We should either like stick to one of these things. Either one is okay. Put to menu. So. So yeah, this is our uh, slum level. Uh, forgive the slight uh, weirdness in the animation thing. Uh, that that's just uh, yeah unfinished animations at this point. Uh, and we've also uh, slightly modified the UI from last time in case. So now it's much more simplified, and uh, you see uh, the tone which you are. Uh, 
uh, speaking in over the the dialogue choice and you can open your journal at any point and you also modified the ui of the journal slightly should be much mm -hmm. much more simpler now so we we chose the yeah, option yeah i think this is the the, the, the I think this is very much the interface that we've had during the development of the game that I've liked the best uh, for the dialogue menu. Yeah, yeah. These are just like we uh, uh, this, the the small changes that we did were uh, after a round of play testing with our friends and everything. Yeah, in real life, so we had their uh, yeah, this thing where it's like a small uh, black box is drawn above their names. That is also. Uh, like from that feedback as well. So what we're seeing right now, uh, in terms of the people that are there, are uh, various points of interest that. Uh, in the future will be differently animated and you will clearly see that okay this is a part where and this is an interesting one this is one of the first uh, things where, where uh, we have programmed events that go on whether or not you are uh, involved in the game uh, involved in the the scene so you can either walk away like this and just let this guy drone on or you can just uh, if you stay there for long enough uh, this guy will address you directly. Yeah, he'll sort of call you out. Yeah. Yes. So, see, so you see how now this person has called you out. Uh, you were uh, so you kind of showed interest in the in what he was saying, and now you he has called you out. So now he has. Uh, so this is the kind of uh, conversation where. Uh, like this person has the advantage in terms of like this person is very shouty so the idea is that you kind of wear him down as you uh, uh, I think that's what can explain this person this, this, we ended up picking yeah. like the one of the few conversations where like this is one of the ones where I'm going to go through and revise this but yeah. I mean that's good because there's gonna, yeah. not going to be too many spoilers uh, yeah. when, for going through this <laughs> Uh, you, you can consider this a spoiler free zone yeah yeah so the idea is that uh, yeah this guy is uh, he's in the street corner he's shouting at everyone and he has a bunch of supporters so you cannot win by shouting back at him because uh, in that case obviously like this guy has the advantage so what you have to do is you have to draw him out you have to let him run, uh, run himself out of steam what the hell is that <laughs> me, yeah. I, I don't know, like, I'm not doing anything here. We actually have no idea if that's you or not. Yeah, sure what you don't know. It. Yeah. it might just be the, the steam types of the dam. Venus. I don't know, but I, I think I'm bleeding out of my oh, ears. my lord. My god, what the hell is this? <laughs> I'm not sure if that's because it's punctured by eardrums or because it's some sort of, like, firefly hands of blue bullshit. I don't know what that is. <laughs> uh, the idea is I'm not sure if it's actually just killing me from inside. <laughs> My God, that that noise lost us three three stream stream viewers. <laughs> <laughs> we were at twelve. Now we are at nine. They just died. <laughs> if I heard that noise, I would have like run to my bunker. <laughs> It's like one of those horror movie things where he shuts the computer off and then he's like, it's inside my head! <laughs> hard reboot. Wait, there actually is a thing called hard reset. Never mind. I, I just bought that. I, I give up <laughs> on coming up with bad, crappy sci-fi games and movie titles because they're all taken. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Yeah, this is the city level. Uh, some of you might have not have uh, seen this. In case, so now you can see that we have a bunch of uh, levels next to next, and we can sort of roam around. 
hopefully by the time the next stream rolls in uh, you will know exactly uh, uh, you you'll have the the flow of the levels in much better you'll have a much better idea of what exactly uh, like how levels flow so the idea is that uh, this is the kind of uh, this, yeah this wall separates the sort of uh, like poor districts from the rich districts so as soon as you enter you start seeing the change in the general uh, makeup of the houses if you will so now the houses are much grander they have uh, better architecture and like they just look more sound they don't look like they're going to fall apart any second so yeah uh, in case you have any questions yeah we can we yeah just ask us in the chat or something and we'll yeah and we'll respond Ah, uh, these must be the people you were talking about. Yeah. Yeah. That is every quest in uh, chapter three, just kind of hanging around there. Yeah, this is actually nice. This is easier to test. Yes. Yeah. This is how video games are are made, ladies yeah. and gentlemen. This, this, <laughs> this giant is what you do. You just have a room where all of the quest givers are throwing a party. And then <laughs> you fill a chest with all the items you need, and you just run around uh, connecting point A to point B. Yeah. That's why I am loath to move these guys until I know everything works well. Yeah, so then uh, once everything works here, so then you know that, okay, only like if there is any bug in the future, then it's only related to the positioning, as opposed to uh, like one of many factors. Hey, what's up? So yeah, all of these people will have uh, their own quests and everything too. Can I go inside the temple, right? Yeah, it should work. Uh, it may have sorting issues like the uh, the mansion, but other than that, it should be okay. Okay. Oh, hey, there we go. Yeah, so this is the yeah. So it's soon you will be. Can I actually just say it's sort of weird to write a dialogue script and then see it implemented into a video game? <laughs> because I, I control the script, but I don't control literally anything else about the presentation. So, to me, it's almost like, oh, hey, I know that guy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hey, Harris, it, long time to see. <laughs> it must be a bit like um, like being J.R.R. Tolkien and watching the Hobbit movie. <laughs> you know, from the grave. Uh, I wouldn't go that far. <laughs> yeah. I, th I think Stephen Fry looking Goblin King is perhaps <laughs> a, st a step removed. <laughs> well, I, I, I'm I'm really confused now that I learned that Stephen Fry is in the movies, but he's like in only in the second one because maybe this sounds a little bit mean spirited, but I also don't mean it that way. The Goblin King in the first movie looks a lot like Stephen Fry. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I guess I'll find out today. I'm going to see it. I, w I wanted to see that movie, The Wolf of Wall Street, but but I just learned from my from a friend that there are like twelve or thirteen cuts in the movie. I like the yeah yeah. There's like the more than six minutes of uh, you know that has been edited out. Yeah, so I was actually thinking of waiting for the DVD thing to come out. I mean, nowadays it's like. One or two months until that that is released anyway. So I like how I accidentally made uh, the second priest there a red shirt. <laughs> yeah, well, but priests all wear red shirts. <laughs> yeah, it, well, at least priests scheme, of Ranbir all wear red shirts. Yeah, the color scheme is supposed to be yeah. Oh my God! What the hell is this? Oh, I just oh the squares. No, no, no! I I stepped out of the temple uh, of the temple and now suddenly I've spawned at zero comma zero. So which means I am actually out of the level. I cannot get in. Oh, I thought I fixed that. Maybe <laughs> I didn't save. 
<laughs> yeah. So, ladies and gentlemen, you just uh, saw how bugs are discovered in video games. It yeah. did that, and I saved it, and I was like, oh, problem solved. And then I <laughs> came back, and the problem was still there. <laughs> Maybe you didn't, you didn't add the multiply variable. I'm, I'm not sure. Because it, because it wasn't exactly at 0, 0. It was a little bit off from there. Oh, yep, that's what it was. I did it. I didn't. I did click save, and then when I uploaded, it didn't upload the saved version. Uh, hey, Gura. So you can get uh, in, but you can't get out. Yeah, I can get in. Yeah, because uh, yeah. So the red areas, you know, they represent uh, areas which you cannot enter. So, for example, this red polygon, I can brush up against it all I like, but I cannot pass through it. Uh, and the blue. The blue polygons, uh, they represent exits. So as soon as I collide with this, uh, this polygon will take me to another level. And these black uh, polygons, they represent uh, character bounds. What the hell? There is one of us who is uh, like, who has a, like lots of weird shit going on. In the <laughs> yeah. I don't think it's me because I can hear it. Oh. Yeah. For uh, once. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so you know, yeah, the, the black ones are the, the character boundaries, the red ones are the the areas which you cannot uh, walk, the areas which you cannot uh, pass through and the blue areas are the one where uh, you uh, are exits. So see as soon as I walked into the blue area, I am now out of the... Uh, Ross, I actually think what what you might have done is that you have only changed this of one of these exits, not all of them. I I'm and pretty here, sure they all the same. Yeah. Uh, and and below you can see the pink box. That pink box is a event box. So sometimes what you do is like an event requires you to be in a certain location instead of like. So in that case, we we have these pink boxes. Yeah, that will reveal the insides of a house or uh, do triggers have pink boxes too? No, no, I think then triggers might have blue boxes, like the slightly darker blue ones. Yeah, I'm pretty sure, yeah, that's, okay. that's blue. Yeah. So there are a ton of different boxes for this kind of thing. Okay, I'm going to need to exit this. Yeah, that's, that's the only way. Yeah. Uh, let me load up the countryside for you as well. Uh, so yeah, this is our countryside level. Yeah, this is again, you can see the, the red boxes in action. Red boxes! Bam, bam. <laughs> that didn't sound nearly as cool as it might have if I hadn't been saying but <laughs> To be fair, it would have sounded that cool anyway. So you did this uh -huh. much. Yeah. And we also have changed the the general layout. So now it's it's more compact and there's lots more room for uh, quests. <coughs> and uh, we haven't exactly like the button graphics aren't drawn yet, but soon uh, if a quest is uh, very Yeah, and the uh, the quest is uh, like the the number of lines in a journal they are very big uh, then it will be paginated I know this sounds boring but yeah that, that, that's what I've been up to uh, and another thing about this is that uh, yes. so now what we, have, we want to implement with some of our conversations is uh, you can open your journal during any conversation so the idea is that this uh, this is the people index and so you collect information, you can uh, stumble upon information via people, Let, like let's say just uh, like neighborhood gossip or like you stumble upon some document or you uh, talk to their co-workers about them. So the idea is that uh, if you have a very important uh, objective related to uh, getting something from a person, let's say, so then you can do your research and uh, then you can do your research and uh, gain an uh, gain an advantage. So it's like you know, knowledge is power. That kind of thing. Yeah, you know who you're talking to, so you know how to treat them and handle them. Yeah. 
uh, so this is this is this also has the benefit of like if somebody is a public figure then their uh, like personality likes dislikes will be more easily known as compared to in a, a non public figure and then there are some conversations which you can just use your instinct pretty cool yeah. uh no because we are the npcs can move around yet no yeah. <coughs> because we are uh, like today is the day where we start uh, drawing individual npcs so by the time the next stream is there uh, like you'll have some npcs which walk around which move from uh, point a to point b that kind of thing yeah there's yeah, by the road by then we should have all sorts of animations done for the first three chapters at least yeah so for the by the first three chapters we mean uh, all of these levels which i've shown you uh, right now yeah Uh, and by the way, uh, in case any of you live in the UK uh, or like are planning to visit the UK at some point, uh, we uh, we are going to be showcasing our game at EGX Rest. It's an expo uh, uh, run by the Rock Paper Shotgun slash Eurogamer guys. So yeah, like in case you want, uh, so we'll have a playable build of the game there, hopefully by. Uh, it's at the it's at 28 to 30 march oh hey and i should also show you guys this uh, some of the merchandising that we have so yeah hang on a second yeah let me uh, show you some the the merchandise that we have for this so <laughs> yeah so it's it's all uh, let me just get them hang on a second Hello. Check this out. Check this out. Mm, hang on. Should have a good idea. Okay. So this is. Yeah. Thanks. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So this is uh, one of the posters. Like we had some physical tears in the Kickstarter. So this is one of the posters which uh, physical backers will be able to get. Let me turn off one of the lights. Okay. Yeah. It's it's like this. Uh, is it visible properly? To the people watching the stream. Hmm. Yeah. Like I'll I'll have to repack it. Yeah. Okay. Let me let me do this. Yeah. 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 Okay. Oh, it's it's even more glare. Hang on, sir. Yeah. So our our posters do not come with glare. Yeah. There. This should help. Can you see it now? So yeah, this is yeah. So this is one of the posters. There's the second one too. We get the second one. So yeah, and in case any of you are interested in uh, like getting your hand on these, so let us know because we don't know whether there is demand for these kind of things yet. So so if there is, then we figure something out. Yeah. 
related to distribution and all that stuff. We should probably post. We should have, like we should post this in our next Kickstarter update. I think it's merchandise stuff. This is the second one, mm. and this is the second one. Mm. I think this is yeah, I'm holding up just the correct. So yeah, both of these posters were uh, announced during the Kickstarter, and these are part of the physical rewards which like people will be getting. So uh, yeah, uh, if we uh, plan to sell them, they'll be like uh, like. Uh, five bucks a pop or something like needs. I need to figure out the shipping for these things. Shipping is the main problem, not the actual cost. So yeah, we need to know if there's enough demand for this kind of thing. Hang on, there's one more poster design which isn't like strictly related to unrest, but there's this. Uh, it's related to my uh, older game that's called Will Food. Hang on, let me get food as well just for the. Yeah, this is it. These are I just made like ten or fifteen of them. So they're not as many as the other ones, but yeah, this is the third poster. This is pretty meta because the the person in the this is also holding a poster, so it's like yeah, Inception. So yeah, these are uh, some of the physical goods. We have other physical goods as they roll in. Yeah, right now these are pretty much uh, like all of the physical goods we have made. But yeah, as the game ships closer to release, you have uh, we'll show you guys more of this kind of thing. There we go. All right, now back to the yeah. There we go. Video games. Video games. <laughs> there, I did the sound bite, Nick. Is this a guest of a documentary or something? Just video games. <laughs> I think the sound video games. Video games. <laughs> I uh, think it also you. needs needs like a uh, flashy graphic, which comes up on the screen. Like like, like those nineties. Yeah. Uh, yeah, like those nineties uh, weird HTML kind of graphics, right? Where you have the sites. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Nowadays, people make them ironically, but like at at one time, they were considered the pinnacle of web design. I remember that. Yeah, it's a good thing we are not living in the 90s anymore because that those were horrifying times. Hey, Gurokya, uh, yeah. So your pledge, how to top up that? Yeah, we we'll, yeah we have something in the works. Yeah, you'll have to uh, probably use our PayPal pledging system. But yeah, yeah we we'll, yeah we can figure something out. Yeah. Uh, we'll in the next Kickstarter update we'll we'll have a merchandise focused Kickstarter update next. So yeah, 
yeah because we we'll also need to talk to the shipping people so it's not uh, yeah so because so yeah so shipping in that case yeah Hey, this is the inventory interface. Uh, and in case you haven't seen the world map yet, so yeah, now I have fully explored this. So the world map is. Hmm, I need to add the new markers, but yeah. So the idea is that, uh, like, if you are uh, a lower focused person, you can just uh, like hide this. So then you, it's a, it's a voyage of discovery or something. But if you are more like, uh, just give me the quest, and just tell me where to go. So then you can just activate this overlay and you'll get a nice layout of all the levels and their exits and so forth. I think this is a nice balance between like the old school and the the really old school. The new? Yeah. 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 Well, it was, if it was truly modern, then our levels would just be a corridor, you know, so. <laughs> So it's it's like yeah they, like because this this layout also reminds me of some of the older RPGs I've played this this blocky layout. So yeah, but yeah, this is relatively more comfortable for a for a player that's that doesn't really want to uh, like like read everything and see okay where where does the map uh, say I have to go like should I ask for directions that kind of thing. Getting that that uh, like having small interactions where uh, in some in some contexts it makes sense if you are asking for directions. Oh yeah, all the all these lower buttons. So this is the world map button. Uh, it's it brings up the world map, and this is the pause menu. So it's just a menu which has like the option screen and this you can save your game and you can load your game that kind of thing. And this is the traits menu. So now this traits menu is kind of different in that it's a cross between uh, what you, you usually have achievements and uh, like the RPG abilities. So what you so what we do is that uh, like these are the traits you start out with. These three three traits. So each of them uh, tells you something about the character. So like you know that okay your character has above average intelligence. She is also literate, and your character is the only child in your family, and your character is a bit of a loner, doesn't have many friends. So this is kind of the starting hand that you are dealt with, and depending on your actions in the level, the rest of these spaces will be filled by different traits. Yeah, and we can also use them as um, as quest hooks in later quests as needed. Yeah. You can give them depending on what you do in the quests, and we can also alter people's behavior or yours depending on uh, how many options you have, what your options are, that kind of thing. Yeah, exactly. It's it's sort of a one-stop shop of everything. It's like all those modifiers that you have. Uh, like uh, I'm, it's it's a cross between the Fallout style perks. That's the closest I can think actually, and the the usual achievements and all that you have. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, the the perks in Fallout are the ones that yeah the are the closest to this I think. And this is your journal. So you just have your uh, the journal has five categories. Uh, it has like completed active quests which you are doing right now. Then completed quests. Then people. Uh, people has information about all of the people. So so whatever uh, information you collect related to people. Uh, and this information can be used uh, in, in in dialogue between them and so uh, for example uh, let's say one of the scenarios involve uh, you needing to uh, blackmail somebody let's say so what you can do is you can uh, roam around in the level and and you can find out and you can uh, talk to other people and uh, and maybe like find some items which which may might give you some dirt on a person so the the journal is and the people section is an is a play, is the place where all this information will be collected. So at any time you can look at this and see okay okay this is the these are the things which I know about 
that person so it's not populated yet but yeah it will be as as we implement the quests and everything so the idea is to have one central hub for all the the information you collect related to people and that's why uh, when you talk to somebody like for example this person right here hmm, hmm i cannot talk to him right now okay but yeah when you talk to somebody uh, you you see a journal icon above them so that journal icon uh, then you can uh, at that point you can read read up and see if you have forgotten something or whatever then these are the locations and history history is the general uh, catch all thing for everything that isn't in the other four categories but uh, yeah history is another uh, this place will also be used for this place will also be used for uh, like some backers have have chosen tiers which enables them to uh, name a location or name a, per, a famous person so all of that stuff will be inside the history uh, section or the or the location. yeah like a more traditional codex yeah so these are the five categories in the, in the journal yeah we try to keep the layout of this thing simple so that uh, yeah so it's it's easy on easy to uh, like figure out on in first glance but yeah we we'll, we'll make further improvements as necessary and this is the inventory system the inventory is fairly basic so you find certain items you get them here and you get descriptions and whether or not they alter something or provide you with some bonuses or whatever so all of that information is displayed on this screen So yeah, these are the five uh, major uh, UI elements that are, uh, yeah, just the five general uh, screens that you can, uh, which contain information about your character. So yeah, so all of them are arranged like this at the bottom, and you can also use hotkeys. So like it's M for map, escape for pause, trades, journal. So I can press I to open the inventory, that kind of thing. Uh, can the player move by clicking? No, not yet. It's a, it's a feature which we uh, might implement later, but at the point, no. We probably uh yeah because that that requires a degree of pathfinding for the player. So we haven't implemented those uh, paths in our levels yet. So but but it's a thing which we can uh, consider later, depending on. Uh, what we can uh, like see but yeah it's it's a one of our uh, wish listed features I'm sorry. I actually, just um, I think I might have lost a, a minute there. Did uh, did we answer Grok's question? Can the player move by clicking? Oh yeah, yeah we did. Yeah we did. We did. Okay, cool. <coughs> All right. So, any last questions? I think we've pretty much exhausted like the new material we have to show off. Yeah. I mean, most of the non-spoiler material. Like we can show a couple of quests, but yeah, I, like we have yeah. we have some more stuff, but it falls pretty clearly in the spoilers territory. Yeah. So yeah, we'll we'll uh, yeah we'll stream for about uh, five to ten more minutes. So in case you have uh, any questions, yeah, let us know. Scully and Mulder show up to ask what that noise was. Mm 
Mm -hmm. Maybe I should have used that little skipping girl as one of the children. Maybe. I mean, a placeholder is a placeholder, but it works better than three people standing there in a triangle shape just looking at you. Okay, I guess that pretty much wraps it up. Yeah. Let's just hang out for, uh, yeah, it's just five more minutes. Yeah. Then we can see, okay. Uh, thanks. Yeah. Yeah, like hopefully by the time uh, next time uh, you join us, then then you'll see the uh, improvements they, they, that animations and stuff can make. Because right now all of these levels are pretty static, and like that, there's nothing wrong with your static levels. But yeah, once you add animations to them, then it, they kind of uh, the jump in quality is pretty uh, like big. Yeah, there's like a, a uncanny valley effect where if people are moving, you expect them to be doing more than standing still. Whereas, like, you know, if you look at, like, a stationary NPC in an old uh, pixel-based pixel art game, they don't seem out of place. There's a level of attraction there. Yeah. Okay. Okay, so yeah, that's is one. Uh, that's the, let's say it's the final minute, and okay. So any last questions? Yeah. All right, so that's uh, okay. So let's wrap this up, and yeah, thanks for yeah, thanks for watching this. Yeah, that yeah, was pretty fun. Mm -hmm. Yeah, <laughs> yep. yeah, yeah. Thanks for watching, guys. Okay. See you guys, everybody. See ya. Mm -hmm.